shipping container, reefer container, and it's already insulated with two and a half inches of closed cell foam. Electrical just finished. LED porch light. A door will go here eventually. I haven't cut it out yet. There's the mini split. It's a Medea Sear 40. It runs on 220 volts, 15 amp breaker only. Does heating and cooling. There's the 30 amp, I mean, excuse me, the uh, shut off, quick disconnect, and the electrical coming in down there. You'll have to excuse the mess. It's still a work in progress, so there's things laying around. The subfloor has not been put down yet. Um, all electrical outlets are located at 48 inches off the floor. Um, on account of I'm actually disabled and bending over is difficult. So I wanted all the outlets at where I can reach them from just walking without having to reach down and where they would be above end tables and beds and stuff like that for easy access. Um, we have here even some USB switches. Got a three-way, operates the porch light and the ceiling fan, which the ceiling fan I picked up from auction and it did not function, so I need to get a new replacement. Um, it was a return at a Home Depot auction. And yep, it did not function. That outlet up there is to install under cabinet lights. The outlet down here is to install a cooktop. There's the indoor mini split, an electrical box, more outlets, more outlets. This area represented by a blue tape is where the bathtub will be tankless water heater runs on propane and electric ignition this outlet has a switch to control an exhaust fan just for the toilet and here's the smart switch to control the standard exhaust fan with a color change, LEDs, if you, uh, it's set to pulse, I guess, right now. All right, that's a rundown. Glass block windows with a screen for the bathroom.